Hello, we are on question number six of the WASI 2023 NovDEC paper two, core mathematics paper two, general mathematics paper two. We solved the compulsory questions in the previous video. Now let's solve the optional parts one by one. So for number six, we are solving number six in this video. If you want the previous ones, just check the playlist you get it this playlist if you want 7 through 13 check the same playlist you get them thank you now let's begin so we are to draw addition and multiplication tables for the set 2 4 6 8 in a in modulo 9 from the tables if I evaluate what you are seeing here but let's begin by drawing the table first so we have the table yeah how do you form the table the set that is given to you you write them as you are seeing then the operation will go here what you are going to do is that you are going to fill in all these cells so when you pick a cell you add this to this which is four since 4 is less than the modulo, modulo, which is 9, you just put it there. So when you add any two number and it is less than the modulo, put the result there like that. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So you put it there like that. But when it is more than or equal to the modulo, you have to put the remainder down. So 6 plus 6 is 12. So the remainder is 3. Because 9 will go into 12 once. The remainder is 3. Put the remainder there. We do the same thing for this. 8 plus 8 is 16. The remainder is 7. So I want you to do the same thing for the remaining ones. Now, you have to... The reason why it is advisable that you do the leading diagonal first is that when you do that, after you do that and you calculate, let's say for this, 2 plus 2 is 6. 2 plus... 6 is 8, 2 plus 8 is 10, the remainder is 1, you put it here. Then when you come here, you just have to reflect it here. Then when you do this, you reflect it here. When you do this, you reflect it here. It will make the work quicker for you. The same thing you are going to do with the multiplication too. Go with the leading diagonal first. Then you reflect it like that. Like that like that so this time you have to multiply for the multiplication 2 times 2 is 4 so you put it there 4 times 4 is 16 the remainder is 7 6 times 6 is 36 the remainder is 0 when you divide by 9 then 8 times 8 is 64 the remainder is 1 when you divide by 9 I know you can do the rest so try and do it good now let's do the B part. B I. We have to evaluate 4 O times 6. O plus 2 O times 4. So how do we do that? You come to the multiplication table. 4 O times 6. So 4 6 is 6. So you put it there. Then 2 times 4 2 4 is 8 you put it there so you realize that you now come to the addition table 6 o times 8 so 6 6 o plus 8 6 o plus 8 is 5 so that is why the answer is 5 now let's come to the I, I find the value of n such that 3n o times 8 is equal to 3. So you come to the table, you look for a number that is in a multiplication table that goes with 8 to give 3. So which number goes with 8 to give 3? The number is 6. So 6 o times 8 is giving us 3 
Now we compare this side to this side. It means 3n is equal to 6. Dividing through by 2 by 3, n will be 2. Good. Now let's look at the i i. i. We have to find a true set of this. n o times n is an odd number. So we are still in the multiplication table. Note that along the diagonal, that is where a number multiplies by itself to give a result. So we are looking for the odd numbers there. So these odd numbers, these ones, the number that it multiplies to give us this result, they are not the same. You see, n by n must be the same. So 4 by 4 will give us odd number. Then 8 by 8 also give us odd number. So therefore, this is n. So n is either equal to 4 or n is equal to 8. So check the next video, which is number 7, in this playlist. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next video.